Eva Brutinib is an investigational molecule that's highly selective um, and CNS penetrant, and it's an oral Bruton's tyrosine kinase inhibitor. The main results that we have that we're presenting on um, Eva Brutinib are long-term results from our phase two open label extension study. And this is looking at individuals who were treated with Eva Brutinib 75 milligrams twice daily during the double blind period. And then were um, initially briefly treated with 75 milligrams once a day during the follow up period. And then once we learned that the 75 milligram twice a day was the most effective dose, we're switched back to the 75 milligrams twice daily. I think it's important to note that because for most of our outcomes, you'll see that the 75 milligram per um, or the 75 milligram BID dose did the best. And then in the open label extension, you'll see this little bump up in some of the outcomes, and then they'll bump back down when the dose is switched back. So basically they go from twice a day to once a day to twice a day. Um, and, and this helped us learn that even Brutinib really needs to be optimized. Um, and that twice daily dosing helps us maintain the efficacy of Eva Brutinib on all of the outcomes that will translate, we think, into patients having more stable disease. So when we look at the main outcomes of our Eva Brutinib study, we now have results through 228 weeks. So that's over four years of follow up into the open label extension period. Most importantly, from a safety perspective, we do not see any new safety signals in that population. Um, we are still seeing individuals who are tolerating the medication um, relatively well. Um, and the risks that we do see are in line with what we saw in the original um, double blind period. We see a maintenance of efficacy as well as we go out through the 228 weeks. And in that individual or that group of individuals that I explained, the 75 milligrams to one or twice daily to once daily to twice daily, we actually saw an annualized relapse rate of 0 0.10 through the open label extension. And are really happy to see that that um, reduction on relapses is preserved.